In this video, we're going to go over how to create a functional scenario in SOWETEST by passing data from the response of one test to the request of another test. I'm going to go over a simple scenario which can be applied to different examples. So in my scenario, I'm running two tests. The first test is search item by title, where essentially I search for a book with a particular title and I run a second test, which is add item to cart. And I want to add the book that I searched for into my cart. So in my search item by title test, in my request message, I enter a title keyword and then I send the request off. I get a particular response, which is about that particular book. And then in my second test, which is add item to cart, I send a request which requires an item ID and quantity. What I want to do is take the item ID from my search item by title response, which is six, add it to my item ID in my request message, and then send the response. And essentially, I added the book that I searched for in search item by title to my cart. Now, this is a tedious task because I have to inspect the response of one test and add it to the request of another. So to overcome this problem, what I want to do is essentially add my title keyword to my request message, see the response, and then it should automatically extract the ID number and add it to my second test and run that particular test. So now let's go over how we can implement this scenario in SOA test. So I have SOA test open here. I have a test for each of my operation here. The only two tests that I'm interested in is search item by title and add item to cart. So what I'm going to do is first create a new test suite, an empty test suite, and I'll call it search and add. I'm going to add my two tests to it. So just copy and paste and change the order here. Okay, so I have search item by title and add item to cart. So in search item by title, I have power builder and in add item to cart, I have fixed values of ID and quantity. But as you know, we don't want to use a fixed ID. We want to get the item ID from the response of test one. So to do that, instead of fixed, all you need to do is parameterize, select use data source wizard. And what data source wizard does is it gives you access to the response of any test that has been run previously. So I have the response of search item by title here. All I want to do is extract the item ID, hit add, and we're done. So now when I run this test, so now what's going to happen is I'm going to run test one search item by title and the request of test two will be automatically be populated from the response of test one. So now let's run this test. Okay, so test one ran and let's take a look at the traffic. I sent the request title keyword and in the response, I got back information about it and an item ID six. And in test two, add item to cart, you can see the request actually uses item ID six and it gets a response back based on the book, which in my case is Power Builder 7.0 Unleashed. And you can see the value here in item ID and you can see I have an assigned item ID here is being populated by the response of test one. And this example can be applied to many scenarios. You can have multiple test cases which are being populated from the results of multiple tests. And that is how you can create a scenario in SOA test which passes the result of one test into the request of another test.